Howdy there, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome to another episode of our Stone Block Let's Play Adventure, where today I've set this back up again to get some more Minreal stuff, because I really like this mod. I, I, it's not just because I've never used Integrated Dynamics before, but it is mostly because I've never used it before, and I always find new mods fun and interesting. Now, last time, we wrapped up this automation setup, which I knew would be controversial. I even said in the openings of the videos that it was not meant to be ideal, but my gosh, some of you people seemed like you were actually genuinely offended, as though I had I'd done something horrible. Look, I had fun with it. It's a different kind of setup. I've got some ideas to change it. Again, not things that are necessarily going to make it the best setup ever, just things that are going to make it different, because I like to experiment and try new things. I like to... Uh, uh, one thing that I have been experimenting with, for example, is over here, where I've redone a lot of our lava transportation. So... We were running out of power. You'll notice I took the Spectre Coils off the battery. Oh, by the way, I upgraded the battery a couple of times. It now goes to 400,000 RF. And to do that, you just take one battery, and you combine it with another battery. And then you do that repeatedly. I did it twice, because we already had it upgraded, and then I upgraded it two more times. It's got four times the upgrade power! And I would have done more, but I ran out of one of the components. Uh, the block of crystallized mineral... Yeah, I just took for granted that we had to make that. Now, we can make that if we wanted to, and we could make another one of these, um, and then we could once again upgrade this thing. The problem is when you break it and you make a new one, it loses the energy, right? So it's full. It's got 400,000 RF. But then once we do this, it's got 2,000 RF for some reason, but the maximum's higher, and it charges up pretty quickly, uh, which is spectacular because, again, we have 16 speed upgrades in here which is insane this thing is generating plenty of power now we could upgrade we could get some better power going on in here if we wanted to and maybe someday we will but the first issue i ran into with this setup was we weren't getting enough lava so i set the lava back up and at that point we weren't generating enough lava uh, to keep this thing going so i had to set up this one here well i set up the lava with pressurized fluid conduits that's the change that i made i should have clarified i set it up with pressurized fluid conduits i've had to switch it to start extracting from here so it, this should now insert and extract. The problem is this number is frozen. Uh, and that's because this is using exactly the amount of uh, lava that we are generating at the moment. So we need to step up that. Uh, you'll notice I also changed. We had just item conduit, not item conduits, item teleportation. The, what were they called? I'm not using them literally anywhere anymore. Item ducts? It's not ducts. It's not the item ducts. Do you, do you folks know what I'm talking about? Transfer pipes? Tra transfer. Transfer. I'm going to get this, dadgummit. Yeah, transfer pipes. We're not using transfer pipes anymore. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. The name slipped my mind. We're using the logic cables because they are stupid fast. So take a look at our storage in here. We just went over 700,000. Look how fast that is filling up, going pretty good speeds. Watch what happens if we activate this. I have it deactivated for a reason. Look how fast this is. Like how quickly that is dropping. That is how fast we are transferring cobblestone from this quantum storage unit over to here. It's insanely fast. And th there's a reason it's disabled. It's because we need that cobblestone for other tasks. And I think you can configure this in such a way that it'll only export a certain amount, but it doesn't like that current variable. Um, so I'm not really sure how to set this up. What we're going to do is we're going to create some additional cobblestone generators tier fives which requires that we get blaze rod and i don't want to go fight a bunch of blazes so we're going to look at that today as well let's start off though with a comment that i got from the legendary gardener 89 yes he slipped into the comments in a previous episode to point out that we could build going from memory here a, a super heating element i think it was this guy this thing from Mechanism is part of a bigger contraption that you can build, but by itself creates a bunch of heat, allegedly. I haven't tested this yet, but we're going to try. For it, we'll need steel. We know how to build that. Uh, glass, simple enough. Osmium, we've never built, but I'd be willing to bet we have some osmium. And also, I used the term build just then. Yeah, we're going to build osmium. Uh, we've got osmium ore, and we've got some ore chunks, and then we've just got a bunch of osmium ore pieces. I'll take those, and we'll make too many of them. We'll make 32. It's fantastic that we're still using this smeltery. I was very hesitant to get into Tinker's Construct in this pack, because many years ago, and yes, I do mean many years ago, 
I kind of overdid Tinker's Construct on the channel. I did it very tutorial-esque in every series I made, and people got very tired of hearing about it. And that sort of made me distance myself from it. But we're, we're using this thing still to this day, and it's, it's great. I love it. While that's going, we do need more steel. Did I leave any going in here before? Okay, we've got one steel ingot. That's, that's not ideal. We're going to need more than that. First off, coal. Do I have any coal dust? I don't. I'm going to get a stack of coal. Yeah, a whole stack and put it in here, because you never know when you might need more steel. We'll get some more iron. And we've only got eight pieces. We are running low on iron. Well, if, depending on your definition of running low, we have a ton of iron right now. Um, look, we'll make some more. How about that? Does that sound good? I got a couple stacks here. We'll start working on that. In the meantime, osmium. We've got our one osmium ore that we needed. And we'll put that in there. I'll get to work making the steel. We're not going to need... We only need four pieces, so that won't take long. Glass I have some of. I'm assuming this is regular glass we can use here. It just says stained glass, but I would think that we could also use regular glass, hopefully. It is Minecraft stained glass. I think it's probably the same as regular glass uh, from Minecraft as well. So we'll see. And we can configure this to automatically put... Let's see. Push... That's what we want to do. So it'll push the product of its work into here. So it'll automatically put pulverized coal into here to be used to make more steel, which is great. Do I have any steel, by the way? I might have some left over from last time. Oh, I've got four steel left over from last time. Well, Shrek, there you go. That's why it always pays to pay attention to what you've already made, friends. So we can make the steel casing immediately. And then we can make... Do we have copper? Can confirm. And we've got a superheating element. Now I want to make several of these. But we are going to start with just one to make sure it does work. Let's not go overboard here. So that right there, the lorium blocks, if we take a look here, it provides a rate of 20. This superheating element will provide a rate of 60! Oh my gosh, it works. Unbelievable. It doesn't spread out to the surrounding blocks, however. Is this going up? What was it at before? It was at like 770 or something along those lines. Is it going substantially faster now? No, no, it's not. It's not going up and out. Right, remember right now it's on 45.10. 45.10. Lava's maintaining over here. 45.10. The goal is to produce so much lava that this starts to go back up. Uh, I'm going to make some more. So we're going to need a couple more osmium, and we need this to keep going. So I'm going to need to get some more iron. And fortunately, it, we've, got, we've got iron right there. And we've also got molten pulsating iron, which I didn't mean to make. I forgot that there was... Do you remember a long time ago there was an ender pearl in there? And I was questioning how we were ever going to get it out? We're not. We're going to make some molten pulsating iron ingots. Because those are useful. Those are very useful. You can use the uh, ingot chunks for things. I can't believe we are out of iron, though. That's just a crazy thing to me. Madness. We should automate this system in here to, at some point, someday in the future, automatically cook up the products as well. So we automatically get things like iron. You know, we don't have to go through and, and cook it up ourselves. That would be nice. Uh, not today, though. I don't think we're at that point today, unfortunately. But someday, that would be nice. Interestingly enough, the one thing I ran out of was glass, and we can cook that up very fast in our diamond furnace. A lot of people told me about something called an ultimate furnace, which does sound very nifty. And we may very well look at it in the future, but as of right now, I'm, I'm not even started in the mod required to make it. So we've got our two superheating elements. Let's take, check it out real fast. Ultimate Furnace. Is that it? That, is that the one? That's the one. Mystical Agriculture. You got to go down the line for this one. You got to get Nether Star. You need some Wither Skulls. You need the blocks of Superium Essence, which is going to be the trick. Because one does not simply get Superium Essence. You got to start back here all the way with your original starter essence. So there's there's going to be a lot of farming automation necessary to do that mod, I feel. And also, there's my pickaxe. I keep throwing things in here to repair them and, and forgetting about where they are. Okay, let's replace all of our Eulorium blocks. And, and don't worry, if you're a Eulorium block fan, we'll find some place to put all of these, I promise. Can I, can I not get that back? Good grief. I didn't want to leave it in there, you know? So this should be dropping at this point, yeah, because we're not generating any new lava. Well, I was expecting it to drop much faster. But now, should start going up. Now, that's created a multi-block structure. All right, but it hasn't affected anything. It's still got a rate of 60, and this should start going up. It's not, though. Why is it, why is it not going up? 
Should we maybe disable the extract? Oh, gosh. Well, now it's putting lava in there. Thank goodness. Why wasn't it before? Can't you use it for input and output? I thought you could. I don't see why you can't. What's going on here? What's going on? You're full. You're, you're, you're not full. Okay. Disable extraction. We'll set it to insertion only. This seems to be maintaining just fine. Huh. Um. Well, we know that everything down here is fine. So we can go ahead and seal all of this up and not worry about that anymore. Again, rate of 60 is, is just crazy. We should be maintaining cobble production. Yeah, it's not going to use that much cobble, even at this rate, although it is going very quickly. We're still generating more cobble. Lava's maintaining here. Lava's going up here. I think overall we're good. I think we're fine. I think we can all move on to project number two, creating some blaze rods. Now we can farm these. Alternatively, we can manufacture them if we get some blaze essence, which is not what we're going to do. If we made a blood infuser, we're not doing that either. If we had some chickens, people have been requesting it like crazy. But uh, what we're really, really thinking about doing here today is there's a couple of different machines. Uh, so one would be the compressor from uh, IC2, which is a mod I'm very familiar with from the old Tekka days, but I don't know what kind of power it uses. I would assume it uses the... I don't think it uses RF as my only concern. If we build the industrial craft. Doesn't it use like EU or something like that? European unions? I think that's what it uses. Uh, let's check it out. Let's see. Compressor. And if we look at it... Uh, we're looking for this one right here from industrial craft 2. It doesn't say... But I would reckon it would want us to build something like the IC2 generator to power it. And maybe that's what we should have looked up in the first place. Because maybe then it'll tell us what kind of power it produces. We got the generator here. Yeah, it uses European unions. And I know that's not what the EU stands for. You don't need to tell me. Um, alternatively, the other thing we can build is a compactor, I think it's called, from thermal expansion, which does 100% use RF. It compresses items. This will convert... Uh, I, mean, I guess we can look at blaze rod again if we need to, just for the sake of proving it, because people question me sometimes for whatever reason. Uh, it makes blaze powder into blaze rod, which is a lot easier than going and hunting down blazes. So, compactor, more like heck yeah, sor. Sor being sir in this situation, not to be confused with Sora. Redstone reception coil, easy enough. Nothing complicated there. Copper gear, also easy, except for the fact that we're out of copper. Copper? Oh, we actually have blocks of copper. When did this happen? When did this occur? Where was I at? Where's the fox? Does anyone get the reference? Copper? Fox and the Hound? No? No one? What did y'all do as children? Did your parents not love you? I'm <laughs> once again out of iron. How is this a common occurrence? Good grief. Let's just get all the iron in there. And let's make a few pistons. Because I feel like we, we need these in a lot of recipes. And I never have enough. Machine frame. It's going to need glass. And guess what we left cooking in here? Glass. Quite a bit of it too. So we'll put the glass inside of here. I don't know why I'm carrying around this nugget, this block of gold, or these Elorium blocks. No idea. Can't explain myself. Tin gear. Do we have tin? We don't have a lot of tin. Is this also tin? This is iron. Machine frame. Compressor? Oh no. We need a bronze ingot. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, we don't have any bronze. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to get copper, a couple of them, and we're going to get tin. I don't, I don't know, like a couple of Oh, we don't... What? Seriously? Okay, let's do this instead. We'll get tin ore pieces, and we'll get some copper pieces, and then we'll turn them into these and, and into these. And then if we put tin and copper in here together, they should fuse into what we actually want, which, by the way, we've got a lot of blocks of iron now. Running out of iron shouldn't be a thing that happens this late in the game. And there goes the copper. So we've got molten bronze. That's what I'm looking for right there, baby. And we're getting more of it as the, the tin and the copper meld together with the bronze. And that's the orange stuff we're looking for. I suppose you could say it's bronze colored, but Shrek you if you say that. You're not wrong. I'm just saying, you know, Shrek you. Compactor, and we're going to need to feed it energy, so we're going to need an 
energy exporter. Do I not have any? I can make some very quickly. We have all of the ingredients to make an energy exporter quickly, kind of on hand at all times. Uh, this output variable card, guess what? We've got all the materials we need to make one. It's a bit of a hassle dealing with this with this mod. However, I like the mod so much, I'm perfectly willing to deal with it. Uh, if you don't, there are other means of generating and moving around energy that, by all means, look into them. Uh, I can understand that this mod is not for everyone, but I feel like it was cater-made for me because I like the sort of weird eccentricities. All right. Let's get our blaze powder, which we're getting a ton of. And if you're curious, you can get blaze powder from sifting. Is it dust? It would be very convenient if it was dust because, good gosh, zip my way through here until I find sifting. It's not here. It's not here. Where are we getting blaze powder from? Or am I looking at uses? I am. I meant to look at recipe. You get it from dust. <laughs> uh, so we're sifting dust with a diamond stiffened mesh, which means we have a 10% chance. So... Basically, every 10 dust we sift, we should get some. So we're not running low on blaze powder is the point I'm trying and failing to make. So we'll get a stack of the stuff out. It's quite a bit of it. Throw it in there. And uh, that should immediately... Augmentation. Ooh, redstone. We can upgrade it. You have to upgrade the machine before you can add augmentation. I forgot about that. We want to disable all these options to prevent things from accidentally going places we don't want them to go. That's going to start giving us blaze rods, though. And remember, the purpose of the blaze rods was so that we could make some more tier 3 storage. Well, tier 5, ultimately. But in order to get to tier 5, tier 5, a uh, couple stone generators, we have to have tier 3 ones. That's how progression works. So we're going to leave that going. Next thing we're going to take a look at is a painter or a painting machine. That's probably it. Painting, this looks like it's about right painting machine. That'll paint things. I don't know if that's the only way of doing this, but I want to conceal these item conduits back here. I think a painting machine is the best way to go about doing that. And the painting machine is going to require certain things, certain skills, uh, like for instance, finding an industrial dye blend or not doing that. And then we have to though. Simple machine chassis. Easy. We've built those before. No problem whatsoever. Uh, one might even say no problemo if they're so inclined. This though, where are we supposed to get crushed quartz? Well, we know how to do that. Organic black dye? What's that? How am I supposed to... Uh, green or dye? Well, how, how do you get this? What do you, you have to have some form of slime and clippings and trimmings? Where does that come from? You, you put a flower in a sagamill? Are you serious with me right now? This is such a process. Grass? We might be able to get grass somewhere. Okay, we have a vast expanse of green out here from which we can get grass. Is this how you get grass? This is how you get grass. It seems like a process to me, but okay, if it's necessary. Multitasking time. First things first, let's now not do that. First things first, let's disable this so we don't accidentally send... All of our steel, stop, no, no. What is that done? What is it creating? What is it going to do? Steel blend. Steel blend. Can I cook that back up into steel? Okay, yeah, so no real loss. What we want to do is put all of our plant material in here, I believe. Is that going to give me what I want? That's going to give me some, some clippings and trimmings. <laughs> Great. Uh, and then inside of here, we want to put pulverized coal. Good thing we made quite a bit of that already. And then we'll combine that with slime, which fortunately we do have from that time we were running. Oh, good gosh. We got a lot of purple slime. We'll use that. I don't know how we ended up so much more purple than anything else. But we really need to update these machines. I say that so often, but it, it really is true. That's why I continue to say it. And after doing this, I mean, say what you will. Say what you will. But I didn't know how to make things like uh, industrial dye blend before. And now we're learning through this process. So we needed to do this. This kind of had to happen before we could build the better machines anyway. We could have gone through this process while building the better uh, alloy smelter and, uh, and, and what is it, pole sag mill. Okay, that should be plenty of clippings for the time being. Now we need to grind up some quartz. And meanwhile, over here, I keep getting all of these advancements. I don't know what any of them mean. Destroying something beautiful? That's pretty much just what I do on a daily basis. So the organic green dye is going to alloy smelt slimes once more with the clippings. Yes, 
Is that the thing? That's the thing. That's going to do the thing now. And then after that, we've got to make... It says crushed lapis. Gosh, why has everything got to be crushed? They're acting like I have a good way to crush things. I don't. Although, thinking about it... Thinking about you now and there. Could I use that squeezer we made before to crush things? It certainly seems to crush things. But it doesn't look like that's one of the options. Uh, there, there are a lot of options for this, though. I didn't realize it took 12 clippings to make a single organic green dye. That is insanity! Six and an egg, though. So if we had eggs, if we had, ironically, if we had chickens. Um, ah, best made plans, though, am I right? Is two all we need? I think two is all we needed for this one industrial dye block. Well, no, that'll give us six, so even better. I think we've got the lapis we need now. And if I'm not mistaken, we should be good to go ahead and make it. Now, uh, we should be good to go ahead and make it. Look at that. Industrial dye blend. Combine that in an induction... No, in an alloy smelter with a simple machine chassis. We've made those before, and I think we even made one a couple of episodes by accident. Uh, episodes ago by accident. Maybe that wasn't included in the video. Maybe I, I might have cut it because... I decided not to go down that path. Honestly, I can't remember. Where did this come from? Oh, I fought a skeleton earlier. That probably got cut as well. Eh, it's things. Eh, whatever. I don't particularly need any of them. I mean, I'm never going to use the boots. Can I cook the boots back up? I can put iron boots in there, sure. Can I cook up an emerald sword? <laughs> I know there's machines you can build that'll break these sorts of things back down. Dynamite! Oh, and if we get damaged tools, we can repair them now inside of here. So if you have, you know, damaged iron tools or, or anything like that, if we had any boots we weren't going to use, for example, we have iron boots. I don't think it'll work with the lapis ones. But we could repair them and then stick them inside of here. So that's an option. That's fun. Are you done? Industrial machine chassis? We now know how to build these. And, oh, I didn't even think to look at these other things we have to build. Two of those, I believe it was... And then, is that everything? No. Strangely, we don't have any of this electrical steel ingots. I know that we've built this before. This is the one that requires the dust. We still have some of that. The iron and the silicon. Silicon? Oh, we've got silicon chunks. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Baby. Oh. Baby, 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 no. I thought you'd always be mine. Stop that. We've got enough. And we have our electrical steel, so we get our painting machine. The final thing we're going to need is an energy exporter. And once again, I hear the many cries out in the universe of STOP USING THIS MOD! Hey, leave me alone! I'm gonna do what I want to! It's my life! Don't, don't you forget! Call it a painting machine that needs a capacitor. Why, why do you... Why do you need a capacitor? Why is that a necessity? Don't I have some of those? Have I? I, I yeah, we do have some. An ancient one? Decipher ancient runes that translate failed... Wait, failed hot... Wait, I, I can't actually translate the runes. They go off the screen. Remarkable. An attached note describes the supremium cooking grade smelting... Pre See, they, I can't read the whole thing. So I don't know what the... Why aren't you getting any power? Do you not like my power? What What's wrong with my power? You should be getting power. I put a card in there. You're connected up. Maybe it just doesn't like any of my capacitors. Maybe none of my capacitors are compatible, and I'll have to make some normal ones. I'm going to try each and every one of them. Anyway, I don't know what's going on there. What I do know is that I need a facade. Hardened, transparent, transparent, hardened. I think we just need a regular one, and it's just conduit binder all up in a circle. I think I can build that right quick. And then inside of here, I think we put that there. And then we tell it we want to be a stone block. And then I think we just give it power, which we're struggling to do. These are accepting power just fine. Okay. Oh, there it goes. What? Did I not? Did I not? Okay. I put a variable card in there. But it wasn't working with these either. I had a variable. What? No. No, no, there was a variable card in here. Right? I put one in here the second I built it. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. There's, I'm, I might be crazy. 
I might actually be crazy. I don't. Am I crazy? I might be crazy. I think I think I'm crazy. But there you go. There's that. Uh, we need to make another one. So look. <laughs> <laughs> what what is going on? Oh, I I hear you. I I hear you. Where's the binder? I hear you all saying it again. You're all calling out to me through the void. Reese, Reese, why are you using this mod? Um because I like it and I I refuse to change at this point. I'm committed. This is like a relationship that I'm not going to let die. Me and this integrated dynamics. Boom, look, that's a wall now. You can't even tell. I think if you stand there and look at it with... <laughs> no, okay, hold on. Uh, do we have anything from this mod, like a wrench or anything like that, or a crescent hammer? Because I'm pretty sure if you have a conduit, and you hold that conduit in your hand, and you look over at the wall, yeah, it'll become invisible, and you can see that there's conduit going through there. So if you're confused about where you have conduit hidden, aside from just looking at it and seeing that this is stone block and this is very clearly conduit facade, boom, you can just look in there. That's nice. I'm happy we did that. And with that, folks, we wrap up for the day, and it's been fantastic. Uh, just as a brief reminder of everything we've done, we built some superheating elements down there to increase the rate to times 60, what a torch would do. That's crazy fast. We're producing a ton of lava now. It's fantastic. We built a compact door to create... Uh, is it is it, it blazes? Blaze rods? Out of blaze powder. And we created some stone facades using our brand new painting machine, which now opens the way for us to finally create the simple... Or the better sag mill, the better alloy smelter. And if you were wondering, maybe you've forgotten what we were going to do with those blaze rods. Well, first we were going to create that, and then we're going to create this, and then finally... We're going to create that. Um, I think. Oh, oh, no. Diamond is next. How did I get? Oh, the order is not what I thought it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then we can surround it with emeralds. We'll get ourselves another tier five. What is this one in here? Is this one a tier two? I think I left this one in here as a tier two because I thought blaze rods was tier three. It's not. That's okay. We don't need it to be any. I mean, it's building up its own backlog in here. How are you doing? You're keeping up pretty well i guess uh, we got a backlog we got nearly a backlog we got a lot of dust wow okay maybe we need to transform this into a heavy scythe because this one here has absolutely no gravel we're not we're not creating enough gravel um and what do we how do we figure that oh an alloy smelter that would sort that out or not an alloy smelter i'm sorry uh, we could build ourselves a, a sag mill, and that would definitely speed up the production of gravel if we wanted to continue to irritate people by doing this wrong. One thing we do want to do is put that up there, and then we want to open this bad boy up. We want to get out. Can we just type in integrated? Oh, we can. Get out our item interface. Can we do at? At integrated. There we go. Get some logic cables. Get a wrench get a card and then we can just say no no to that connection and yes yes to this one and then if we just drop a card in there it should start transferring the cobblestone from up here down into here uh, it should at least I think it should it is because it's now collecting cobblestone even faster than it was before and we already have what are we up to two sex double compressed cobblestones so, so we're getting there I'm going to create some more of these though Definitely going to create some more of those. Till next time. Thank you folks for watching. God bless you and I'll see you later. Bye!